Hi. <laughs> it's uh, It's June 24th. 9, 10 to 9. <laughs> 10 to 9, is it really? 8.50 a.m.? Yeah, the clock's behind you. Wow, we've been awake for quite a while. Well, the Munchkin Marie was very uh, agitated last night because she knew something was up and she kept waking up. That's right. We didn't get a lot of sleep last night. And normally she's a heavy sleeper. And on top of that, we were very excited. Yeah. And uh, it was kind of hard to sleep. It's Tuesday morning, June 24th, 2008. Baby, you so nice. 50 a.m. Thank you. <laughs> and we are at Illinois Masonic Hospital, room 2733, and Lori's about to be induced into labor with Shelby. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> I have a headache. There she is. Hi, Mommy. Lori has a really bad headache. She's trying to fight off a migraine as we speak. Oh, she just moved again. She's moving. Oh, there she is. And here's our room. You're right. There she is. <laughs> There's our little girl. Yep. Look at that belly button. Finally popped out. Here's our nurse, Tanya. Hi, Tanya. <laughs> She's about to put the Pitocin in and do slurry into labor. <laughs> the torture is coming. <laughs> I know it is. Oh, oh, just kidding. I don't know. Just... Okay, it's now 9 o'clock in the morning, and Pitocin has just been started. Say hi, baby. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Gonna do an ultrasound now. <laughs> hi. They um, couldn't do an ultrasound because the she's ultrasound machine didn't one. work, so she's going to try and get another one Sorry. and bring it back. Hi. It's okay. The view from my window. <laughs> Baby, you're so funny. Isn't it beautiful? Well, they tell them that. The day that Maddie was born, even though it was really cold, it was gorgeous and sunny. And the day that Shelby was born. Was the day that Maddie was born, even though it was cold, it was gorgeous. <laughs> and what else? And the day that Shelby's going to be born is pretty. It's warm and sunny. And the day that Shelby is going to be born is pretty, and it's warm and sunny. Say hi. Hi, baby. <laughs> well, it's now uh, almost 9.30 and the contractions have just started getting more intense. Right, baby? They're not that bad. They're, they're stronger. <laughs> <laughs> they're stronger. Mm. Not more intense, just stronger. Yeah, they're getting there. They're getting there. They have a ways to go and they're going to hurt a lot more. They have a ways to go and they're going to hurt a lot more. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to doze off for a little while. So, uh, apparently Shelby did not like being in labor um, because her heart rate, her heart rate, her heart rate dropped down uh, quite a bit. Uh, usually the average heart rate is somewhere between 110 and 160. Hers dropped down to about 80. Um, and the reason is probably because of a huge contraction. If you see this area right around where my finger is, um, a little bit past there, that's where the heart rate dropped down, right in there. Um, it was up here for a while, uh, but if you look at this bar down here, that's one giant contraction. It was down here and then it went up, so they kind of go together. Um, 
So, uh, the doctor came in and hooked up a, a monitor to Shelby's head. And it was very, very, very uncomfortable for Lori. Um, very painful. He had to go in there and literally stick something to Shelby's head. And after all that, um, wouldn't you know it, it fell off. So it does. It didn't work anyway. So they're just going to continue monitoring her um, the from the outside water. on the abdomen. What's that? And uh, oh yeah, and he broke Lori's water. And because he did that, uh, Shelby's head will probably start moving down uh, more now in the very near future. So, uh, one other thing, turns out the water bag. Um, around Shelby was very strong and it was very difficult for the doctor to break and uh, which is uh, interesting considering um, the fact that the one surrounding Maddie just broke all of a sudden out of nowhere and I think this might be because of all the vitamin C Lori was taking during this pregnancy I think it made the water bags stronger all right. Okay, so Dr. Dennis, Lori's regular doctor's partner, one of her partners, came in and uh, reattached the monitor to Shelby's head and gave Lori some oxygen. Um, the reason she came back in to reattach it was that uh, her heart rate, her heart, I don't know why I can't say heart rate, her heart rate dropped uh, quite a bit. Again, if you see right here, um, what happened, those dips, um, probably because of contractions again, um, so, I don't know, whatever the case, they're monitoring her now, and, uh, everything's probably fine, um, everything should be just fine, and, um, Dr. Dennis said that we should probably have a baby here by the end of the day. Uh, especially since the water bag is now uh, more broken. They broke it even more than it was before, so. Say hi, baby. Hi, honey. They also uh, took Lori off of the Pitocin um, for a little while. It's now 10.30. Uh, they took her off a few minutes ago, and uh, maybe five minutes ago. They're going to come back and put her back on the Pitocin in about 15 minutes or so. Uh, they wanted to give Shelby a break. <sighs> Doing okay, babe? Oh, God. This is so cool. Look at this. There's Shelby's heartbeat. And right here are the contractions, and as you can see, they're pretty regular and they are about the same in intensity at least right now uh, we'll see what happens uh, half hour from now say hi baby hi hi <laughs> we just uh, got the epidural we, I say we, but by we, I mean Lori, uh, got the epidural and uh, is now completely numb or just almost numb down? Almost numb. Almost numb. Can you feel this? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Can you feel this? Yes. Okay. So now we're just waiting. Uh, they just put her back on the Pitocin. It is now... 115 almost and we're waiting and reading trash.